What's going on everybody? Welcome back to NFL Head Coach 09 with the Atlanta Falcons in the year 2012. We are currently 2-0 on the season and are coming off a win in which Matt Ryan was unable to play. He was sick with the flu and now he should be good to go for week 3. We saw just how much worse it can get from Matt Ryan last episode and that's... Uh, you know, kind of the just the way it has to be right now with this team. If we want to upgrade over Matt Ryan, it's just not going to be easy. Unless we're picking high in the draft, I don't know if we have a lot of opportunities. So, we'll see how Ryan plays. I mean, he's had some good moments in recent episodes. But now, doesn't have his right tackle. Debrickasha Ferguson, our best offensive lineman, will miss the next five to six weeks. We should get Justin Blaylock back, which is pretty big. You don't want to be down two starters. And then we're still without Travis Baldwin here. So we're going to get into some simulating today and then just go from there, see what happens. Already scouted everybody, we can skip that and get ready for the Dallas game. Matt Ryan is active this week and I feel like having Delwyn Wilcox back him up instead. We need to have Appling sit a while after his five interception performance. We are on to the Dallas Cowboys here in week three. Matt Ryan back, and the Falcons move to 3-0 with a victory over the Cowboys by a score of 31-24. Three scores for Matt Ryan with a near flawless stat line. I mean, you can't ask for much more than this. 278 yards, three touchdowns, no turnovers, and a competent ground game really for the first time this year easily our best rushing output turner 79 castle 49 and then tyshawn daniels two touchdowns roddy white scored and douglas contributed that's a perfect day on offense honestly the defense may have had some trouble here i mean we had one sack for brock foster not many tackles for a loss a couple picks though carry rhodes and dino peters Cowboys must have had a pretty good day from Romo. Did have a couple interceptions and uh, some rushing success here from Mary and Barber. Goal completed. We have the fast start accomplished. A 3-0 start gives us plus 25 owner approval. That's always nice to get because I usually skip out on some of these goals. Here are current goals in progress. The Bucks game is a big one. Resigning Sam Baker, Darrell Revis. How much money do you think we actually have? We hardly have any. And we're supposed to resign like everybody? This is ridiculous. And we're not replacing our GM. We have all those scouting reports. Uh-oh, an injury here to Felix Jones. Somebody who's become a role player I want to involve more. And a torn triceps is going to end his season. Wow, I really thought he'd have a role on this offense. That's really unfortunate. We will have to place him on injured reserve. If you want speed backs, maybe you've heard of Chris Johnson, Jamal Charles, or Darren Sproles. So Chris Johnson is available. I don't know why he's such a low rated player here. Like, he had broken out by this point in real life, right? How do we not sign CJ2K here? We're going to do it if we can afford it. Welcome to the team, Chris Johnson. So obviously, Johnson has the most speed out of any running back that we have. The most agility, the most acceleration. His catching is also pretty good. So I think he could end up getting a lot of these third down snaps. Definitely ahead of Chuck Castle there. The Falcons are off to a fast start this season, but how long can they stay unbeaten? Here in week four, we take on the Carolina Panthers, and the Falcons keep on winning. And now we have 88 approval on the season, and we won by a score of 31-0. Matt Ryan, three more touchdowns, but he only had to throw it 23 times here in the easy victory. A complete shutout of Carolina. 95 yards for Michael Turner, 63 for Chuck Castle, negative 8 for Chris Johnson, but he got a few snaps in at least. In the air, Harry Douglas led us in receiving, but there weren't many opportunities. Apparently Chris Johnson also had a drop, so not a very good debut for Johnson here with the Falcons. 
Tony Hills, five pancakes, no sacks given up. That's really solid. Wow, five sacks defensively, two for Gill, Foster, Tisdale, Tribble, Damario Waddle gets the interception. And how about the Panthers offense here? 12 and 29 for an interception, 105. Not a very good running game. Not a good day for Carolina. Oh no! Injury alert to Michael Turner. Sprained ankle out two to three weeks. So it looks like A, Chuck Castle's going to get the start, and B, Chris Johnson's about to play a lot more. And I think Xavier Short kind of becomes the emergency running back in this case. Running back injuries, a big problem here in this episode. It feels like uh, my Buccaneers rebuild all over again. So at least with the way Matt Ryan is playing, I feel like we can handle not having Turner easier today than in previous seasons if Ryan can just keep this up. But we all know there's uh, a high likelihood that he does regress in some major way. But he's played three games this year, and he has eight touchdowns and no interceptions. He's literally never been better than right now. Here are the career stats. 28 and 18, 14 and 9. So, could this be a new Matt Ryan? Three games won't tell us that. I mean, last year, Kirk Cousins had the best year of his career, and look how he started 2020. And now he's playing really good football again. The injuries are really starting to add up. Tony Hills is hurt, who just played a fantastic game from two stats that I looked at. Tony Hills sprained MCL out two to three weeks. So we're going to our third string right tackle. Is that bad? So who ends up starting there? Henry Kennedy, the rookie? I suppose. 80 potential. What's his learning? Is he ready to step in? 71, it's not terrific. 72 run block. Hmm, 48 awareness. Who else do we have that could play? Rex had not. See, my main concern here is like a lot of our runs are to the right. And I kind of want to make sure our right tackle is a pretty good run blocker. And looks like Rex had not has low run blocking. I mean, this is just kind of the reality when you have two players get hurt you just kind of gotta put somebody in there and see what happens all right what we're going to do here is actually use one of our game plans as we're going to play against Philadelphia and improve our outside running plays I don't know what our top five outside running plays are but I imagine it's like our stretches yeah I call that stretch a lot zone run very creative name halfback stretch halfback sweep perfect all right, we get Philly in this one, and we're at home looking to stay undefeated. Looks like no major inactives here at the top. Still have Donovan McNabb and some really good offensive linemen. I don't like playing Philadelphia. This is the team that gives me problems because A, their offensive line is really good and stopping them defensively is tough. And now they have DeMarcus Ware. But the big problem with Philadelphia is they have the blitz scheme. They blitz more than probably any team in this game, and you need to have good counters. And I think I have a few more in the playbook that we can rely on. So this is a big spot for Matt Ryan. This is an, a really easy defense to have your worst game of the year against. Let's play some football, everybody. I would like to defer to the second half, play some defense. Let's see if we can get some pass rush today. Really got to... I want to beat Philly. This team always right, gives me trouble. Off. I think we've played them two or three times already. And they're a good team. So there's a chance we meet up again in the postseason. Here we go. Philadelphia getting the football first. Out to the 25 and taken down. Eagles come out. Two tight ends and two receivers. Donovan McNabb under center. And they're going to throw it. Plenty of time. And now we get the rush. Okay. 
At first, it looked like a clean pocket. That's a pretty solid way to start. I was worried about pass rush primarily, and it shows up initially on the first play of the day. Second and 18, drilled and dropped. Apparently somebody ran the wrong play. I wish I could go into replay and just see like, all right, what happened here? Is somebody playing a third instead of a deep half? You wouldn't think our safeties would mess anything up. They're both good. Could have been a defensive tackle, but I don't know. All right, third and 18, let's get this stop. I want the football. McNabb over the middle and off the mark. Guess we came out in our punt block. I let our special teams coach call these a lot of times. And that is terrible. Oh boy. Shanked out of bounds at the 39. You know what has to happen here, right? Like, we need to get seven. We need to go and uh, get this dominant start. This was a game that worried me, so I want to throw. It's what we do best. Ryan over the middle on target. Even in the face of pressure, making the right choice. Uh-oh. See, they like to shoot gaps all day long, and that Let's leads to a lot of negative plays. plays. At the Philly 30, Ryan slides and has the pass knocked down. It's third and 12. Trips left, including Demario Waddle. It's third and 12. And open, making the catch is Waddle. Down to the 10. Goal, first coach. and goal. Do we trust the running game enough? We'll try it on first and goal. That's kind of what I'm feeling out early in this game is how much do we trust running the football today. Philly's tough. But this is Castle on first down. He wants to bounce it. Right choice. He's inside the five and That's taken down. Supposed to be run right there. I uh, let our OC call this one. And yeah, I don't like the look here. That's it, baby. Now we're cooking. No, we're not. All right, guys. We're going deep. I don't think we are. No. Are we on the same page or not? I'm starting to wonder. Second and goal as they load the box with nine defenders. Pressure. Quick throw. Dropped in the back of the end zone. I'm having some trouble finding a play I like here on third and goal from the three. There are a couple more ideas here I could add into the playbook, but I will go with this for now. Six seconds left. Can't take the delay here. We should get this snap off. We do with one second. Ryan throws off the mark. Oh, man. Wait. Pass interference. Most realistic game in EA football history right here. Pass interference converting a third and goal that we don't even deserve. That's Sim. Trying to pound this into the end zone. And it's going to be Castle in for the touchdown. Falcons on top. That's a great way to start the day. I don't believe what I just saw. That was amazing. Eagles drive number two. McNabb's on the money with this throw. Right, it's hauled in at the 41-yard line. Get on these guys. 87 is Santonio Holmes. <laughs> running the ball, looking for room, and I don't see any. Down goes the running back. And uh, is it Ernest Graham? It is. All right. I've played against Ernest Graham lately. I've played against uh, some of these other teams in Madden 09. It's like, wait a minute. I thought I just played against these guys. McNabb takes off on second down. And he's going to take the contact and get to the 46. This. We'll sit in the zone here on third and six. Can't push the pocket. There goes McNabb taking off, and he's going to get it. 
First down, oh, Eagles. On, Why don't I watch this game more in broadcast cam? Although the HUD is kind of blocking some stuff. Play fake, a shot downfield, it is! Come on, no, Marco! Almost picked off! Second and ten for Philly. McNabb incomplete on the dump off, and there was some room to run. This time, we're getting more aggressive. Of course, last episode, we got to see how good some of our new blitz packages are. So they do have two backs in the game. And McNabb gets it away, and it's knocked away, and nearly picked by Waddle. Two chances at him there. Much better punt it looks like this time. It's going just across the goal line. So you gotta love the way this game is starting for us. And I'll get into some simming here after this drive. Well, let's see if we can move the ball again. I'd like to try a couple more runs. Maybe activate the game plan here. I don't mind that on first down. Probably save some for later. Falcons keeping it on the ground, and there is just nowhere to go for Chuck Castle. Oh yeah, I don't like the broadcast camera when you're like anywhere other than midfield. I don't like this angle. Here's a throw over the middle for a short gain. By the way, I did edit that swing screen play, so I'm excited to try that later on with Chris Johnson. Here is a third and nine here. We want to attack deep, and we will! What a catch! How did you do that, Terry Douglas? That was incredible. On the counter. Harry Douglas becoming our number one receiver was not something I saw playing out in this series, but it's been incredible. Chuck Castle on the counter. He's got the outside wide open. And is uh, across the 45-yard line. He picks up a first down. Another counter here going to Castle as he breaks initial contact and gets a solid gain of four. From the 48-yard line, a fake now to Castle. Another shot that's broken up for Roddy White. Demario Waddle in the game. We seem to always bring him in on these tough third downs. This is the Waddle wheel. Good protection. Ryan's going to air it out. And get Douglas again at the 20. Harry Douglas, everybody. He's a playmaker. Not using Chris Johnson much right now because knowing the playbook is important. I'll find some spots where I want to utilize him. Here's Castle going down for a loss of three. All right, Harry Douglas has had a great drive. He is wide to the left here with Daniels in the slot. And Ryan's going to throw a pick. First of the season. At the 21-yard line, it'll be Eagles football. Can I see this one again? Yeah, he just undercuts it. Nice job. Intercepted by Demarcus Ware. So that's unfortunate. That's what we can't see from Matt Ryan. We'll get into some simulating now. And we'll let the sad interception music play out a little bit. As the Eagles struggle again offensively, they really haven't done a very good job. 23 yards now to Roddy White, and then we get Douglas for six. So interceptions are going to happen. It's the multi-interception games we have to eliminate for Matt Ryan. And we'll see if he's able to do that. Third and 11, deflected, our football. We're cruising right now. This is a great start, and we have to punt there. Let's take it to the second half. Ernest Graham getting a lot of work on this possession. And then D-Jacks for 27 in the scoring range for the first time. And they get stalled here and miss the field goal. What do we do with our chance here? Not much. I like getting Chris Johnson a snap there. 
Let's sim one more drive here. 26 to Roddy. And then a missed field goal for Star Aldridge. But we get it right back with the interception by Revis. We are dominating defensively. And this is coming off of a shutout against Carolina. So you gotta love what our team is showing this season. A lot to be happy with. All right, guys, we're going deep. Only thing we're missing right now is a backup quarterback we can trust. So here we go, starting first and 10. After the interception, a lot of teams like to take a shot. We're no different. Ryan rolling, he dumps it off, playing it wisely. Daniels, plenty of room after the catch. That's Inside nice the 25. Play. In the pistol here, a bunch to the right. Roddy White alone on the left side. Pressure sent, wide open. I mean, that's just easy. Inside the 10, right, there's Harry Douglas. The running game has just been very unreliable. I like to run in the red zone. So Castle's getting this one. He spins ahead. I like how he handled that play. We're not going deep. He's running a zig. It's like a two-yard route. Second and goal. It is intercepted again. And he's got a chance to take it. Across the 40, he will take this all the way unless he runs out of gas. Come on, Matt Ryan. Touchdown, Philly. And they're in the game. What happened? Oh, he jumped it. What a beautiful play. William Good with the pick six. Take it, outside the tackle. it should be 21 nothing right now. At least 17. All right, Chris Johnson enters. And he will look to get outside with that great speed. And he's wrapped up after a short game. Can Ryan avoid the interceptions going forward? Harry Douglas, the motion man. More blitzing here from Philly. Taking a shot! What was that? We had open I underneath receivers. Than this. Look deep. What happened to the eight touchdowns and no picks? We're going with a four wide look here. Demario Waddle in the game. Philly blitzing and taking down Ryan on third down. Philly takes over now, just down a touchdown. They have not moved the Fantastic. ball well against us, but now it's within reach if they can just put together one drive. Back to the air, and McNabb is on target, but the pass is dropped. Pretty good coverage again. We've had some very tight coverage in this half. Philly now with a split backfield on third and five. Yep, it's man coverage. What are you going to do about it? McNabb. Pressure. He is hammered in the backfield. Right, Brock Foster. Let's get back to offense now at the 31-yard line. Ryan. Throwing again, wide open with room to run. Decent pickup here to the 38-yard line. Who caught that? 86. I can never remember who 86 is. Running this inside, and he lost the football! And we just are able to keep it. Tell him he's got to have some fun today, but I need him running smart. By the way, that was Darius Stone who had the catch. And now Chuck Castle with a fumble. The mistakes are piling up fast. This is going to be risky, but I actually don't mind it here. Uh, swing screen. Swing shot X. It is the second version. And I can't put numbers in any of my plays. Please blitz. Come on, the one time you don't blitz? Caught anyway, first down. Harry Douglas. I was counting on them blitzing. 
I'm impressed Ryan made it all the way to his fourth read on that play. All right, Castle will give you another chance here. And that closed quick. Demario Waddle is slot right on second down. Ryan fakes, he's got time, and dumps this off. That'll be a first down for Watson. That's it, baby, now we're cooking. Trying to get Chris Johnson more acclimated with the playbook. We'll need him a lot these next couple of weeks. So on first and 10, time to give him a counter. Let's see that speed. Hey, hey, eyes, ref. Oh, is there a penalty on them on a running play? Face mask. That's a nice play. Yeah, it was fantastic. Oh, short checks in the backfield now. Ryan back to pass. And again, he finds Harry Good Douglas to make it goal to go. All right, we're activating a game plan here. One left. Must have used him when I was simulating or something. I didn't know those could be used when simming. I might actually call upon those more. Chris Johnson all the way out and caught from behind. Come on. We need something. I understand this is a ridiculous idea. Chris Johnson in the Wildcats on second and goal. Johnson running outside. Didn't work at all. I'm so afraid to throw down here because of what Ryan's done today. It leads me to do it. Matt Ryan made me call that play. Come on, Matt. Make the play. Trips left. Pretty soft look here from the Eagles defense. Ryan protected. Wide open. And he did not get his feet down. Would have been Douglas. All right, chip shot for Star Aldridge. There you go, 17-7. Again, the Eagles have no offensive points. Eagles take over. They need to get some offense going. They have been shut out all day. A pick six is the only reason they're on the scoreboard. Here is a good opening here on the handoff. And that is an easy first down for Graham. Fake and pressured. Sacked. There you go, baby. We've gotten three of those today at least. I think there might have been more in the simulating even. That was Foster again. Second and 14. Pressure picked up and McNabb. Are you serious? Was that off the turf? No, that was caught. Spreading out the defense as we send Rush. McNabb caught. Down, First guys. down, Holmes. Defense, you can pretty much end this game here with the takeaway. Just saying, McNabb on target again, and that should be enough for a that? first down. Staying in our base defense here, and it's another fake. Foster applies the pressure, and that Guys, could have been killing. another sack. After this game, I have to check out the win rate. For Foster today. I want to see what his stats look like because it seems like he's having a really good game. Second down and two. Eagles actually moving the football. Dumped off. Room to run. And a yard. Time to go to our blitz packages. Third and short. Where is it? What was I calling last episode? Why can't I find it? Cloud five stunt. They're going empty. Right side, can they pick it up? They did, and that's caught. Come on, man, keep your focus. Don't let it haunt you. All right, we're emptying the playbook here. Just every blitz I have is getting thrown at them now. And hopefully they just have to make more plays like that last one. Like, if you're going to convert, it's going to be very difficult. Pressure picked up. McNabb incomplete. 
Empty again. All right, it's five on five. Let's see if they can block it. They did. McNabb extends and gets about four. Hey, I need another look at what happened there. All right, man pressure this time. Third and four. Again, McNabb looks to take off, and he's sacked at the 20-yard line. Got him again. Number 97, Torrance Gill makes the play. Oh, yeah, they can kick a field goal here. I forgot about that. I'm like, all right, we're blitzing again. It's going to be a seven-point game. Philadelphia was just called for a face mask on the kick return. So, even if they force a punt, they're probably not going to have the best field position. So, here we are, 17-10, trying to close out the game. The running game has not been great. Can they get us a couple first downs? Oh, no. Ryan! That's not good. All right, looking like Philly could get a chance to get the ball back. Second and 13. Toss out to Chris Johnson. Trying to get out on the edge. That is not a bad pickup, but they take him out of bounds. Wow, Philly does not have to use a timeout. A first down wouldn't necessarily guarantee a win, but it sure would help. Three receivers in the game. Here's Ryan. He's throwing for Douglas and is off the mark. Philadelphia is getting a chance now with plenty of time. Getting more intense than it needs to be. Atlanta trying to blow this lead. What was that? An awful punt gives Philly the football at the 35. They still have to travel 65 yards. And, of course, have to get the touchdown for the first time on offense. We could really use someone uh, getting a turnover here to end the game. Empty here on first and 10, a minute 48 to go. McNabb, plenty of time, wide open at midfield. First down. All right, guys, just stay calm. We still have our timeouts. If I need to uh, plan for another drive or if I want to change up the defense. Pretty good coverage here. And there goes McNabb. And he's going to cut back to the middle and have close to a first down. Here's pressure. McNabb escapes it. Has the first down and breaks a tackle. Donovan McNabb to the 25-yard line. Eagles closing in, still a minute to go. And as they get snapped here, oh, I call the timeout, I tried right there. They'll get even closer. I'm just trying to force just time to come off the clock now. right now. That's All right, there's the timeout. We'll get everybody rested a little bit and we're gonna change our defensive approach. Kerry Rhodes is just going to sit in the middle of the field looking to make a play. Eagles 16 yards away from tying this football game. 46 seconds to go. McNabb gets it away incomplete. There is no deep safety here on third and one. Pressure picked up. There goes McNabb again. Inside the 10. Breaking another tackle. Touchdown, Philly. Unreal. We blew the lead. 17-16. Can Philly tie it up? The Falcons have blown a fourth quarter lead. We can't lose this game. We still have some time and a couple timeouts. Xavier Short, why aren't you following your blocks? Not a good return. We have timeouts and I'm gonna be very aggressive here. I want to go win the game in regulation. Overtime is too much of a, a 
too much randomness. It's sudden death rules. We have two timeouts here and a field goal wins. So we're going for that. Oh my, we should have lost the game right there. Game out there. I think I have to get rid of that play action boot. It's just not good. They don't know how to run it. And uh, they basically are guaranteed to be under pressure and that's where the bad decision making kicks in. It's just not good play. 30 seconds to go. We caught a break. Good protection. This is on target. Waddle at the 40. Timeout Atlanta. I know what I want here. I know what I want. There it is. I didn't set it up right. Waddle's in the wrong slot. So it's Tyshawn Daniels right slot. Ryan's going to have time. He throws complete. And the tackle is made at the 47 of Philly. So if we get right, like 10, 15 more yards, we can spike and go for the win. What's my favorite 10 to 15 yard play? I like Waddle Flood. It's not bad. It worked really well last episode. And we're still on that. Yeah, we're in the middle. We're centered. Tyshawn Daniels. Matched up with a linebacker, potentially. Here we go. Pressure. Ryan is sacked. Have the kicker start warming up. Oh, man. I know what play I want here now. If it's going to be like that. Four vert scissors. I think we're going to overtime, though. Three, two, one. Last play of regulation. Ryan will get the pass off, and it's incomplete. Okay, that's the quarter. Oh, man. I can't believe we are in this situation. I feel like we lost. It should have been 21-0 at a point, and the Eagles got a pick six that changed the whole game. Matt Ryan had two bad INTs, and now we're going to overtime. At least we're getting the ball first. Returning, we do have Chris Johnson back there with Short. So here is Johnson. And just like Short did earlier, just trying to go outside even if there's nowhere to go. Overtime underway. Pressured. Ryan is on target, and that was not easy Somebody with a defender in his face. Eagles stay in their base as we go three wide with Waddle in the game. Play fake. Outside. Oh, no. He almost picked it. Come on, Matt. And holding. That's it, offense. Good job, baby. Good job what? I accidentally skipped this, and I guess this is going to be a play action pass. First and 20. Time now for Ryan. That's open. Okay, good call. Keep pouring it on. What if we let the OC take over right now? Let's see what our OC does here. I've turned over play calling sometimes, and uh, occasionally we get some really good drives. To the air again, and caught in Eagle territory. This ain't bad. So at the Eagle 46, one more first down, and we're considering field goal. Hand off, Johnson! Nope. Second down counter, that's where I have to step in here and take a timeout. Second down and 14. Xavier Short in the game, I forgot to fix this play. Second down and 14. Ryan with time is on target and that's enough for a first down. All right. Harry Douglas, a what a game he's put together. Now, obviously, kicks are not automatic in this game, so you do want to put in the effort to get closer. From here, it's a 48-yard field goal. Castle gets the carry, has room inside, and gets us inside the 25. Utilize the talent we got. 
Castle one more time looks to bounce it, delivers the stiff arm, and we're inside one the 20. Inch at a time, fellas. We'll win this thing one inch at a time. I'm not sure how close we have to be to be confident in Aldridge. From here, it's a 35 yarder, which is pretty close. And that's a fumble for Chris Johnson! We're gonna keep the football! Oh my! Tell him he's gotta have some fun today, but I need him running smart. Chris Johnson has not been good in these two games. There's Star. Warming up. He's not getting it quite yet. I thought they were going to recover that and run for a touchdown. Another break for Atlanta. We'll run it with Castle. What was that? No game. I need to see it again. All right, we're going to kick right here. We're going to kick right now. Send out the no kick. more risking fumbles. Nothing. Star Aldridge for the win. The rookie. From 36, it's good! And the Falcons hang on! 20 to 17! Why does every win have to be like this? I never get to coach the 31 nothing wins. I have to coach these. Matt Ryan is picked off twice, but he threw for 340 yards. Had a really good day otherwise. Donovan McNabb. 153, 16 for 33. We played great for most of the game. On the ground, Castle 56 yards. Not much here for Chris Johnson. Harry Douglas was outstanding. 9 for 144 and a touchdown. And then three sacks for Brock Foster. And I wanted to check his win rates here. He had six hurries, seven blocks defeated. Does it show his success rate here? It doesn't. But that's a lot of hurries. Really good job. And we had five here for Gill. So our edge rush today was amazing. Well, we're 5-0. and oh. The last two episodes. These games. How do we... How are we undefeated doing this? Playing this kind of football. Any injuries coming out of this week? I don't think so. I'm Adam Schefter of NFL Network, and here's your college football update. The top five at the end of this week looks like this. Florida jumps to number one after Miami slipped up against unranked Central Florida, while Texas, Boise State, LSU, and Kentucky round out the top five. The five best quarterbacks in college football are Southpaw Shane Botts from Boise State, BYU's Matt Ream, San Jose State's Corey York, UCF sophomore sensation Carmelo Goldwire, and Blake Borelli from Washington. I don't think all those quarterbacks are here. Are those like juniors for the next class? Anyway, cool update there. I guess he said... Uh... Shane Botts was number one or Matt Ream? I can't remember now. Above average arms, system quarterback, mobility touch. Ream, good football IQ, accuracy, and learning. All right. Well, everybody, that was a fun episode. We're undefeated. We'll see how long we can keep it that way. Thank you all for watching today's episode. Hope you had a good time here on NFL Head Coach 09. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.